if you read my Twitter at all, um, I'm constantly harping on the against the concept of deceleration to swing the bat. First of all, let me clarify what that deceleration is. Those who teach it say that you have to put your foot down and stop, and then your hip goes a little ways and stops, and then your torso goes a little ways and stops, and then your shoulders go a little way and stop, and that will end up whipping the bat out front. Okay, so they're claiming that you stop rotation and pass the energy up the links of the kinetic chain and that moves the bat. So they claim that you have to decelerate to launch. I want to clarify that everybody eventually decelerates. When you swing the bat, it doesn't go on in perpetuity. It eventually stops, so there eventually is a deceleration. The question is, do you decelerate to launch? And the 108 Eugene Bleeker, Joey Kuna Farm Board morons, they believe that there's a put the foot down, and then there's a series of uh, deceleration movement of energy up the chain link to swing. And every time they demonstrate, and the guy I just demonstrated is one of their, or the video I just had is one of their clients, they end up swinging out here in front of the front hip, or front leg. Compare that to the stretch and fire, the high level pattern move, where we coil and stretch around our rear leg and then we swing, we snap and tilt and the rear leg, the rear hip and leg, bring the barrel around and you're going to hit it right through here. So the feeling is definitely that it's the rear leg or rear hip that we're hitting the ball off of. Now, to someone who doesn't understand high level pattern, and if you say that to them, they're going to think that you're swinging back here off the rear leg. They don't understand that the rear leg is the driver. And the rear leg stretches, gets stretched by the coil, and then snaps when you tilt, and the snap of that leg brings the barrel around, okay? It's not a put your foot down, stop your forward move, stop your rotation, so you have a series of decelerating links. That's, that's ridiculous in hitting. That may be what throwers do, pitchers. It may be what javelin throwers do. It may be what the discus thrower does. It may be what the shot put putter does. All of those movements are proactive. A pitcher can throw the ball when he wants to. He doesn't have to suddenly throw the ball. The javelin thrower can get ready and do his little run up and throw it when, it when he wants to. The discus thrower can do their little spin move and throw it when they want to. A hitter can't just swing when he wants to. He's reactionary. He has to react to a ball that's moving pretty darn fast. It comes at different speeds. It comes at different angles. It moves. He has to be reactionary. There is no chance in hell for a series of deceleration move uh, links to hit well at high level against high level pitching. No chance. Now, they might hit a ball or two really well because they happen to time it up. But they, there's no way deceleration hitting can be effective against good pitching. It's just impossible. And yet, they continue to teach it. When I went to Knoxville for the debate with Eugene Bleeker back in December, he promised me he would swing. It's the only reason I went, because he has no clue what the high-level pattern is. He thinks he does, but he's never felt it. He has no clue what he's arguing against. So I decided to go to the debate 
only because he said he would swing, and because he said he would swing, I was gonna get him to feel it. Well, as soon as I got there and asked him to come up on, on the stage to swing, he said he wasn't gonna swing after he promised he would. Um, at this point, looking back on it, it is my feeling that he knows he's wrong, but he can't handle the mea culpa. He can't handle the, um, the honesty, the integrity to admit he was wrong. And so he continues with the nonsense, okay? He couldn't afford for me to get him to feel how the rear leg brings the barrel around. So part of their teaching, they say that the hitter swings across his body. In other words, what's the best way? They wanna feel this kind of move where you're swinging across your body, okay? And they demonstrate it over and over. The fact of the matter is, hitters don't swing across their body. They swing out from their body. Okay, from this standpoint, this would be across my body, and this would be out from my body. And that is a huge difference. When you swing out from your body, you're gonna get a coil, your coil is gonna stretch your leg, and then you're gonna snap and tilt. And if you can imagine a line from pitcher to catcher, you're gonna swing right up that line, okay? Their teaching is, put the foot down closed and try to create the same line, pitcher to catcher. But the problem is, that line is going across their body into a deceleration, a decelerated front leg. And with what I teach, you're gonna swing out from your body, up the same line, but you have the quickness and the snap and the power of the rear leg. They just haven't swung a bat enough to understand how wrong they are, okay? So, the feeling when you swing, where do you hit the ball? Do you hit it off your front leg or do you hit it off your rear leg? It's gonna look like this, and you can say, well, I hit that ball in front of my front leg, so the visual is one thing, but I gotta tell you, the feeling is you're hitting this ball off of this back leg. When you have a stretch and fire and a snap and tilt, you get the missing frames. The missing frames are what I'm showing you here. As the bat goes backwards, the rear leg turns forward. Key word is as. As the bat goes backwards, the leg turns forward. And it definitely feels like you're gonna hit the ball off your rear leg, off your rear hip when you do that. All the great hitters have what I call the missing frames. And I call them missing because they're missing in hitters that do something different. They're missing in the decelerators. All the great hitters have this move, but the decelerators don't have it. Okay? All right. Some questions.